Hey, Grant! Hey! Hey, Grant! Dude, it's Chris! And Adrian! Chris and Adrian! From the internet! Yeah, hey, dude! You wanna do a collaboration video? How are we gonna collab if you don't want Is that production correct? Hey, Grant! I wanna show you my new glove! It's really sweet! Hey guys, welcome to Film Linen, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And guess what? It's time for another somewhat inappropriately named episode of Insert Yourself. This time around, we'll be inserting ourselves into this shot from the Avengers Endgame trailer. I took a ridiculous amount of time to actually paint Captain America out of this shot. And believe me, it took a long time. This was really hard to do. But before we go any further, guys, I want to give a big shout out to both Chris and Adrian over at Production Crate for shooting the cameo for the start of this episode. They recently hit 50,000 subscribers on their channel, which is amazing, and they also make really cool content, guys. If I just point up here, you'll see a card to their latest episode, which is an Iron Man suit up. So check that out, and once again, thanks, guys. Now, guys, you might be asking, how did I remove Captain America from the shot? Not only is it moving around and dollying in, he also takes up a ridiculous amount of the frame. Well, I have an answer for that, and it's gonna be covered on another episode that I'm actually doing together with Boris FX, the creators of Mocha. Their Mocha guru over there, Mary Poplin, is actually going to be doing a guest tutorial on film learning coming soon. So, we'll look forward to that. But in the meantime, we're going to insert ourselves into this shot. Now, the first thing you are gonna to need to do is to go to filmlearner.com slash downloads and grab the Endgame cap removal pack. I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it. My God. This download pack contains the After Effects project file that essentially works like a drag and drop template with all the modified footage you need, including the cap removal shot and the Scott Lang hologram shot, as well as a close-up of the Scott Lang shot. So you can edit between the two. You will need After Effects CC 14 or above though. Sorry, make sense? I really hope so. You also need to shoot your actor on a green screen, acting out the shot, try to do your best to match the lighting and the camera placement as best you can. Now, you'll probably need to shoot your security footage from a window like the production crate boys did to really sell the idea that you're looking at a camera on a fence that's really up high. Now, if you've got all that, let's get to work, shall we? Okay, guys, here we are in After Effects. It's 5 a.m. and I've just panned an energy drink and I've got my insert yourself into Avengers Endgame template set up and ready to go. Now I spent a bunch of time making this as easy as possible gang, so I've done all the hard work so you don't have to. So you can see here we have two shots. We have our shot where I've removed Cap right here, and we have a second shot where I've removed Scott Lang from the security cam hologram. Both of these shots are simple to add yourself to guys, so let's get started with our Cap shot. Now I've got a shot mark Grant over here, and all this is is, well, me keyed out and ready to go. So all I need to do is open the comp marked insert video right here, and here's how easy it is guys. Just drag and drop your keyed footage underneath this null and bam, that's it. If we head back to the final comp and check out a preview, you can see where I've now been added to the shot and it looks pretty good. The only thing left to do is to add some color correction to better blend my actor into the shot because I kind of stick out like a sore thumb at the moment. For this guys, I used Colorista 4 from Red Giant. As you can see, I've already applied it and if I turn it on and off, you can see the difference it makes. Now gang, I'm just going to delete that quickly and just show you how long it took to grade this because it doesn't take long and I'll just talk over it while I'm doing it. So let's grab Colorista from the effects menu. Now gang, I'll just mention again, this is a paid plugin from Red Giant. So if you don't have it, feel free to do this with whatever color grading tools you have. So you can see it's not a crazy amount of work to get this looking blended into the shot. And if we check out a preview, nice. That's one shot already done. I told you it was easy. Now, is it 100%? No, mainly due to my footage being a static shot, when in reality, the footage of Cap had the camera moving past him, which created a hearty amount of parallax, which unfortunately, because we're working in 2D, we can't replace that without shooting it in the exact same way. But having said that, this still looks pretty cool. Moving on, let's do the hologram shot. Now within this shot, there is two comps called layer one and layer two, and we wanna open them both. There we go. Now guys, each of these comps needs our video added to it. In this case, I'm going to use the footage that Chris and Adrian from Production Crate shot for our collab once again. So all I need to do is just grab that footage, drag it, drop it into both comps, 
bam, and bam. Now if we head back to the final shot, it's already done. How easy was that? And that, my friends, is another insert yourself. Done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Hey, Grant. Hey, hey, Grant. Dude, it's Chris and Adrian. Chris and Adrian from the internet. Yeah, hey, dude, you want to do a collaboration video? How are we going to collab if you don't want this in? Is that production crate? I want to show you my new glove. It's really sweet. So guys, that is the latest episode of Insert Yourself featuring the Avengers Endgame trailer. I hope you're enjoying this series, guys. And if you do have a request, leave it in the comment section. Now, onto the important business. In the last episode of Film Learning where we tackled the Avengers Endgame title template, I did say that I would be giving away five free custom renders to people that left a comment below saying, I need that template, please. And the people that have won are on the screen right now. Now, if your name's on screen right now, I'd just like you to hit me up in the pinned comment down below, and then we'll get your custom render all sent out to you. But for now, guys, that's all I got for you. If you did enjoy this episode and you like Insert Yourself, please smash that like button. I really would appreciate it. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. I've got two other episodes right over here. I've got my social media crap above my head. There's the Patreon if you want to support the channel. And you can also hit that join button down below too if you want to support the channel and straighten YouTube. But until I see you again, guys, keep learning.